Hagrid's Asylum, opened 1886, closed 2003. This place was supposed to care for the clinically insane, but this place did not care. This place was pure evil. This place boasted 205 beds and was supposedly able to care for the mentally handicapped and insane. This place was also renowned in the early days for employing people such as Harold Shipman, Dr. Death, was a trainee doctor in Hyroids for many years. Also, Jimmy Savile used to abuse his patients here at Hyroids where they were vulnerable. What we thought was going to be a routine investigation turned out to be our most terrifying yet. Join us and find out who or what we encounter at Hyroids. Guys, we are in a former mental asylum morgue um, with 3,000 bodies passing through this morgue. The morgue slab would have been right there and you can see the drainage here where the blood would have gone. Lee, Lee, I've just heard something like dripping water. We are literally getting activity already, guys. I've just been touched on the arm just before I went um, live on YouTube. Joe, I was having a wee um, before and something touched me Seriously, Shale had to go for a wee. Something touched the side. I've had something touch my arm. I've just ran out of here. Literally, I've just come back in. Um, what I saw looked like yeah. a man, typical man. I'll tell you now exactly what he is. He's a mortician. He was wearing a mask and he was wringing his hands like he was washing his hands. And he touched me on the arm, literally came from nowhere. It is absolutely horrible. Um, this asylum is famous as well. You can see, look, there's the fridge. This asylum is famous for Jimmy Savile. He used to abuse people here. And also Harold Shipman was a a uh, trainee doctor here. He started off as a trainee doctor at this very asylum. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lobotomies, wow. all kinds of torture was carried out here. Um, it really is a place of evil. Um, I've not been this jumpy in a long time. I mean, I've taken a bit of a break out, but I'll tell you what, guys, this place is absolutely, it's just next level. Um, this room in front of me here is the room where I saw him stood in the doorway, wringing his hands like he was washing his hands. Um, right here. Oh God, I don't get good vibes in this room at all. I just feel like I am being constantly watched. Um, for regular viewers of the channel, you know, I don't sort of jump easily the amount of places I've been to But this place really is next level. It is horrendous Take a look at this image caught by Pete during our live He sent us this by a message After reviewing the footage you can see that Shell's legs in the picture. I'm the one holding the camera So who is this highlighted in the circle? This sent chills through us and genuinely shocked us. Take a look at the next image. You can see zoomed, there's clearly a figure of someone looking back. We then decided to do some cinematics and photos. What we captured when we returned home absolutely stunned us. Listen closely.
this is the raw cinematic coming up. Notice the girl giggling. We didn't at the time. Here it is again. This footage was not actually heard until I returned home and reviewed the footage. The sound of the little girl was truly haunting and hearing that through my headphones truly shocked me. So we've got the K2 which has just been hitting. I'm in airplane mode on my phone. And Snap. So nothing should be interfering with this. Is your name George? Can you come towards this green light, please? Are you the male that I saw washing his hands? <laughs> Apologies, my nose is got a bit of a whistle. <laughs> is there anyone else in this building that would like to communicate with us? Please come and touch this green light. I'm asking all former patients of this hospital to please step forward and touch this green light. I'm going ice cold to my left side, absolutely ice cold, my left shoulder, right there, absolutely there, it's right there. He's there. Ice cold, right on the shoulder. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah. Okay, can you make it go all the way to red for me please? Can you come a little closer? Do you want me to leave? Make it flash. If you do, make it flash. Okay, you want me to stay? Make it flash. Do you want us to stay and talk to you? You make it flash for yes? It's gone quiet now. There is a cat ball on. Not a cat ball. A uh, paranormal ball, sorry. Um, you can't see a thing at the moment. Don't want to turn back. But in the there, pitch there, black. There. I know. Right, put the torch on the sex shell because we cannot see a thing. There we go. So I keep hearing things all around me. Can you roll this ball? Can you see the ball on top where the drawer is? Can you push the ball? It'll flash. Or if you prefer, you can make a bang. Apologies for the light, I know it's very dark. So yeah, 3,000 people died at this asylum more well actually just over three thousand and uh, as you heard before some horrific people worked here jimmy savile and harold shipman was a trainee doctor here the morgue slab you can see the screws on the floor are still there you can see the channel where the blood would have gone down there. And then down to this one. Down to there. Into the grid. Into the grid and down there. You think how many litres of blood have gone down that drain. 3,000 bodies. So the table would have been there. The table would have basically, the head of the table, um, that would have been the foot of the table. Yeah. Because I think it has to run down obviously, you know, for the blood. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, it runs down and then into the channel. We keep hearing all kinds of things around us. We'll take you through into some of the other rooms. But let's now? just, yeah. Let's show you uh, around the creepiest room in this entire morgue. Let's have a look in the drawers before we go. Anything? <coughs> oh. It's up. 
absolutely pitch black in here. I'm going to have to get the other torch out as well. Really? So, so that will be... There's the fridges. We're just going through our photos at the moment before we go into the next room. Um, K2's here. Brought the paranormal ball as well. I have got Necrophonic with me as well. Um, so yeah, that's the... Uh, I'm going to do a waterfall there. Yeah, we're going to do some photo base as well. Yeah. Because I was focusing in then. Yeah. To take a photo. So yeah. Oh, not that doorway again. There was someone stood here. That's the same place where he was before. It's the mail. I heard I heard something. I heard something. I need to re I need to go back on the footage and listen to that, but if you guys heard that please put a comment. Um but yeah, I vaguely heard that. Look at that, the old original radio. This is a bit of a creepy room, is this? What room this been I think this has been used for to store things, you know, like the, the, the things they would have needed, yeah. Like preparation and Yeah. Or like an office. You know, more of an office type. No, there's an office for it on the side. Is there? Yeah. It's a strange one. If there's the original door. Oh, one of the original doors. So the room here doesn't go anywhere. Right, we're not in the other room now. Could you make that green light flash for us, please? Can you see the little cake too over there? Can you touch that green light for me, please? In the corner of the room. Are you the male? Hmm? I could hear a male chatter in there. I'm sure if you rewind that footage, you'll hear it yourself. Right. Like it's, um, mumbling. It's definitely not shy. Let's say that. I mean, mumbling, you know. the image that he showed me, what I saw, was a guy wearing a mask and he was washing his hands. He was wringing his hands like. You Your know. Uh, don't say that, sure. It was just like he was cleaning his hands as if he'd just finished his job. No. But these people were just pieces of meat, I think, to him. It's oh, I feel absolutely sick here. I feel really sick in this area. Is he near you then? Did you hear that? Something just pinged behind us. It was like a... Like tin. If that was you that just made that noise in the other room, please touch that green light to acknowledge me for yes. Was that you? Is your name George? Everything's happening. Something's happening in there. I just don't walk in. It's like... Yes, those devils. Again. Is that you coming towards it? I feel cold. Your ice cold again. Is that you? Have you come into the room? Can you walk towards us again? I can hear please? something to the left now. I've never felt as uneasy in a place for a long, a long time. I don't know this room. Oh, what's this room used for? 
this would have been the prep room, so I went and took them out of the freezer. Yeah. Came out of the freezer, straight into here. Had it onto, oh, nice. And then straight and onto then the e mark slab, which was there, right there. And they'd have been brought straight into here then. I will try and include and some pictures of the original mark slab if I can find some for you. Cupboards there as well. If you notice, it's the same type of door. Yeah. And all the other spaces and the office spaces are wooden. Yeah, this is like a marble effect. You see that? So, this is basically where you first come in. And there's the refrigerators. So, you would have been put into there, into there and uh, yeah, from there. Off you go. Footsteps again. Did you hear that? That was on wood. That wasn't stone. We are stood on stone. That was not on stone. That was wood. And it was, I think it was like two. Boof, boof, boof. No, it was three. Three footsteps. On and you walked towards me, please. You've shown yourself to Lee, now show yourself to me. Are you capable of doing that for me, please? I would love it if you could. I would love to see you. Woo! I don't. It's that doorway, isn't it? It just doesn't feel right. It feels heavy. When you went dark on me then, it was like there was an outline of someone stood in the doorway. It's horrible. That doorway right there go is horrible. Go dark. One second. We're going to go dark. Mm -hmm. This is what we are seeing now. Absolute pitch black. You can see the K2 over there. It must be crazy stood in this morgue. In, in the, the pitch black. 3,000 bodies went through here. It's creepy enough with the lights on. Is there? <laughs> yeah. Can you see it? I can see an outline. Yeah. He's fucking there. He's there. Apologies for Shell's language. He's, Sorry. Um, he's, this place is, um, yeah. It's made it making us jump big time. It's putting us on edge. When you go dark, you can see his outline. I'm getting pains in my chest. If, if I walk this way, right, guys, I feel like he's over there, right? He's that side. When I walk this side, he's at the back of me. It's like he's playing games with us on his terms. There's another room here as well. Let's see what this is. See the high ceiling. Chess is coming back in. Sorry for my language. It's um yeah. It's not nice. Making Shell swear and she's usually chilled. Yeah, it's that room right there. What was that? Did you just see I just saw there? something to the left. Oh, I tell you guys, this is different level, this place. No matter where you go, you do not feel comfortable at all. Oh, there's the sink. I still see you in that room. Which one? That room, that room, the, the, that one, through that one. To your left. I ain't going in there. And the other guy's gone. It's the same guy, it's a surgeon guy. It's a surgeon yeah. guy, so. And he was like that. 
He's honestly, he's and horrible. As soon as I looked at him, he went. He's horrible. God. He does not care, honestly. It's like he's hell bent on scaring us. He literally is like something out of a horror movie. Can you carry on something for me, please? That was just my fault. Bypass, can you tap that? Can you tap on the door? Can you tap that, please? Can you knock three times? Now the band keep hiding in the shadows. He tried to make us jump. And he tried to. No. What did you hear? Oh, oh. You made the pigeons go then when you ran. Bloody hell. I'm telling you guys, I do not like this place. You alright, sure? This has been the worst place. Wait, like someone was rushing me towards me then. Yeah, it's those footsteps. Walk. Seriously, I can't walk right in front of me without having to look all around. There's a rush of air again. Coming from this room. It's all around us. It's like we've been surrounded now. There's not just one now. No, there there's a number of them now. Yeah, mum was rushing towards me. Four, four, there's four, there's four of them now. Four here. It's been told that there's four here. Four different spirits are here. Can you ask your guide to I just want need help? I just want them to step back a little bit at the minute because they're quite it's like they're all rushing forward at once. But there is a prominent female. And I don't know why, but this female is wearing what looks like a nightie. So she's a patient. Was she an elderly female? No. No. I feel she was no older than probably 30. Oh, well. Um, she's got quite curly hair. Quite no wavy curls. I wish those pigeons would get out of here. See them up there, flying rats. Again, footsteps, something is running. I told you. See, and the birds are reacting to the. The birds are reacting to the fucking footsteps. Pardon my French, I tell you what, I need a break. I need to get out of here. I seriously need a break. Do you? Yeah. Let's go. I'm having a break, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm outside. Um, Literally, this is a first for me. Um, what I felt in this room, I've not told Shield the truth when I was in there because I didn't want to freak her out until at least we got clear. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys on camera now exactly what I saw. Um, I saw four different entities in the room surrounding us. And what they was doing is that they was literally like leering at us with their heart. They was touching us and feeling us and just... One of them was shifting across the walls, almost like in... Demand. No, it was like, um, you know how you're heavily medicated and you cannot walk and you literally, like, slide, slide your the feet? They were shifting across the wall. And then what I saw then was a black figure that went up the wall onto the roof, which indicates demonic. It is not nice at all. Um, I don't think I've come across this leg this level of negativity in such a long time. I don't know if someone's been here before and messed with something. Possibly. But um, what scurried up the wall, it was basically like what I would call a typical dredge. Um, you know, with the, the shape and the arms and the claws. And what does dredges look like? Um, basically, they're almost sloth-like. If you imagine 
Um, I know half what, man, I half know, sloth. I know what a dretch is, but just, just for yeah, people. For the point of the, uh, yeah. the viewers, it's kind of half human, half sloth like. Um, with a bent back, it was, it was like uh, hunched over, and then it was almost like its shoulders was like dog like. And then it literally ran up the wall. So was I the kid you not, guys. trying to touch me? They was leering over your shoulder, two of them. And I didn't tell you because I knew you would run like crazy out of there. And what were they? They was just patients. Right, which one? Male, female? You've got two females and there's one male, but you had one of each, a man and a woman, literally reaching out. The lady was reaching oh, out shoulder. to grab your hair. To and pull me hair. To pull your hair. And the man was trying to get your hand as if he wanted to hold your hand and lead you off somewhere. I don't know where, but he wasn't the surgeon. This you, was somebody else. I've got goosebumps all over my body. Um, do you think that it was the female that was rushing towards me then when I ran? This, possibly because this female, she was kind of like trying to get you to go in a direction. You know, like... You know you grab somebody and you spin them on the spot and you turn them. Mm. That's what she was trying to do. She was trying to turn you on the spot and you wasn't for turning because she wasn't aware of her. Are they still here? They're still here. In there? They are in there and that's why at the minute I'm uh, giving them their space as it was. Because I don't fancy going back in there and getting surrounded by four of them again. Leering at me. I thought that would turn Well, you see, it's bad enough for you, sure, right? Because you're feeling it and you're hearing it. But it's worse for me because I'm seeing it. Yeah. And it really is unnerving. I've not seen this level of negativity since uh, I did the demon school. Wow. Um, and I'm talking about the one with the swimming pool. Yeah. Where yeah. it was literally hammering. Um, I did that with Moxley and Amy from Shadow Hunters. And that was one horrendous place. Also, Henry was there as well. And we all witnessed it. I think there was ghosts on Trent. This place is worse than that. Seriously, this is what you're dealing with. This is worse. Okay. There is so much pent up anger, energy and abuse. I heard a woman crying as well. Literally a woman wailing in here. And the kid who's just reacted to what I just said in your hand, it flashed. There was a woman wailing um, like she was calling out for a child. Like a child was taken away from her. She was brought here and the child was postnatal depression. Postnatal depression. Aww. Okay, postnatal depression. She was brought here for postnatal depression. And died here. She died here. She never left. Oh, she you. never left this place. Can you make this green light flash if that's correct, please? Did you lose your child? Did they take you away from your child? Can you please touch the light? Lee, there's mm. something behind me. Behind me. Here. Behind me. Can you see anyone? I don't see anyone, but it is... I can't say there's cold spots because we're right near the door, so... You know... It's, uh, it's a I'm, bit hard to rule it out, but I'm there's boiling. nobody stood Feel there. Me. I'm boiling. There's nobody stood there. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back in here and uh, the things I do for you guys. I'm going to have to go back in here and uh, confront this because if you show fear, they feed from it. And it's, I've been doing this a long time now. And I know better than to, you know, show them complete fear and leave. I'm not going to leave here. They're not going to get me out of here. They have they have once, but I'm not permanently leaving. I just have to be... Uh, Reset. Reset myself because I've not seen this amount of negativity and I wasn't fully aware of what I was dealing with. If you see anything coming towards me or lunging for me or trying to pull me out, you need to tell me, Lee. I'd okay. rather know than you not tell me. I don't want you running in here though and literally like tripping on something I because run. if I tell you the truth, you will run from here. These people are not nice. Yeah, but if they're going to pull me out and stuff, you need to tell me. Okay. <laughs> Then I'm prepared for it. Then for the I'm first really... time ever on an investigation, right, Cheryl is literally sticking to my side everywhere I go. And I know when Cheryl's on edge. 
Yeah. And she's literally everywhere I go, she is not staying nowhere on her own. I am on edge. I feel like I'm being watched from everywhere. So yeah, I, I hope you like guys appreciate what we're doing there. for you here because I have been waiting probably twenty five years to get into this place. There's no one in that room, is there? No. There's nobody Oh, wait a minute. Yes there is, yes there is. Yes, there is. Who's this? There's somebody shuffling across the back wall. Is this the dress? Straight jacket. This is a no. This is a patient. Why are they shuffling across? The... I don't like it dark in here. They're in this corner right here. Oh, this corner, guys. Okay. They're in. It's not oh, white. It's almost wow. like grey. K2. Went off. As I walked in this room, the K2 went off. Is that you in the straight jacket? Can you acknowledge me, please, by touching this green light? Did they restrain your hands? My friend's in the room, is he? I'll put the K2 there. Right in that corner. Right, I'm just going to come towards you. I don't mean any harm. Stay calm, I'm not a doctor He's and I'm not a nurse. kind of shuffling. He's just shuffling around. He's now knelt down. There, in He's the gone corner. to his knees into this corner. He's still there. There you are, sweetheart. We'll give you that so then you can communicate with us. I'm not sure what's going on here. He's holding his head like his head's in pain. It's not a physical, this is mental illness, you know. Typically, it's like he's holding his head. Um, it's like he's banging his head against the wall almost. Oh, bless you. This place is absolutely horrendous. I can literally feel um, the energy from the ground here. It is just constant I vibrations. Yeah. I just felt You're okay. Like You're okay. Hand. He's he's um he's just in this corner. Well he was after doing that to my hand. I'm not sure entirely. Could it he's be right the person here. who tried grabbing my hand before? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? Where's he gone? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Where's he gone? I just heard a female moan. It was like somebody went, hmm. You know, you said you heard dripping before. Yeah. When you walk on these, you hear that? Yeah, it sounds like, sounds like dripping. Yeah, that could possibly be it. So, before we leave this place, because trust me, we will be leaving this place very soon, um, I'm going to try a necrophonic session. So, bear with me. I'll be... Okay, so I've now got the necrophonic out before we leave this place for the night. Um, so, can you please tell me how many of you there are in this room? What did that say? Can you tell us clearly how many spirits are in this room, please? In this building? Six. Do you want us to go? Can you tell me your name? If you prefer, you can touch that green light. Is there something not of this world in here? Get out, I think that's the stuff. Yes. Yes, you. Death. The male that I just heard, are you the person who used to perform the uh, the operations in here? Did you used to tend to the... But yes, K2 just went. Yeah, are you the man with the mask? Doctor something. That was something about doctors. I don't know. Did they used to 
choose to use shock therapy here. Did they use to mistreat you? Did I say yo or you? Can you tell me my name? Do you know what my name is? Do you think you could possibly touch that green light? What is that? Leave. Do you want the female? Hello? She was laughing. Did you hear that? Yeah. That was a child. What's the children here? He just said no. That sounded like a little girl. Is that something mimicking a child? That would make sense. Are you the one that climbs the walls here? Yeah. Too. If that was you that I saw in the door, please touch that green light to acknowledge me for yes. Or you can shout through this device that you're talking to us through. K2 again. Yes. Oh, did you hear that? Yeah, that was something else. Can you laugh again? Can a little girl laugh again for me, please? Do you know where you are? You're all right. You're okay. There is someone yeah. here. Pardon. There is someone here <laughs> to my left. In this area. I can feel them. I can't see them, but I can feel them. Are you walking around? Can you tell us who's the one that keeps walking? I'm not walking. Did you see that? Yeah. Can you can you ask us to leave? Are you evil? Oh, look at the cake too. I think that just said evil. Are you trying to scare us? I know you're capable of doing harm, you're capable of scratching. What was that? That was on wood. What are you seeing? I can smell cigar smoke. Oh. Oh, okay. Did that Please don't. just say madness? Please don't. Guys, this is really creepy. K2 just did it again. Can you tell me your name, please? Daz. 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 You tell me. Patient, Daz. The whispering between themselves. 
Who's the doctor that's here? Who's the person that keeps running? Okay. Do we know this girl's name? No. No. Right, okay. I just had a name come straight into my head and the name is Maud. Maud. The name is Maud. Maud, are you here? That's her. Maud, do you need my help? Yeah, she's literally gone back to the wall here. Only because one wanted to pull me out. Well, yeah. Who was the person who tried to pull my hair? Leave us. Would you like me to leave? If that's your wishes, I'll respect your wishes and I'll leave this place. Is that correct? Okay, all you have to do if you want me to leave is make that green light flash all the way to red. Can you take it all the way to red for me, please? All you need to do is just touch the green light. Leave. Okay. You don't want to Brace. leave. Brace. Brace. You. You. Is there anybody here who you need to be wary of? Who's the scary one? Apart from all of you. Neil. Is that Neil? <laughs> or was it me? I don't know whether that was me or Neil. Can you repeat that for us, please? Who's the scary <laughs> one? I can't make that out. Not so. It's okay. It's okay. If I put this ball over here, I'm saying you don't have to come near us. What the fuck was that? Leave me. Leave me. I thought I heard something right. It sounded like birds sing. Why would the birds be singing now? Don't know. I'll tell you, it is 10 to 12. Why would the birds be singing at 10 to 12 at night? So there's a ball on the sink. Can you touch that for me, please? It won't hurt you, it will just flash. So if I show you how it works, so if I show you that it doesn't hurt me, it definitely won't hurt you. So it's up, you have to give it quite a knock. So if you can do that for me please, that'd be amazing. I'm just taking some photos at the same time. <clears throat> Can you touch the ball now, please? Can you roll that ball near the sink? Yeah. Neil again. Neil. Neil, was you the doctor? Oh, 
All right, you were patient. Oh, I don't feel good here. I honestly feel so dizzy in this area. Can you step forwards? No. Lee. That was my yeah. That was my name. Hello. Hello. He said hello. Do you want to speak to Lee? Hello. Hello. Can you tell me your name? Again. Do you recognize me? Do you know who I am? The little girl said Lee. Who's the little girl? Me. Jane. 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 Hi, Jane. Hello. Did you hear her? Yeah. Would you like Lee? me to help you? Lee? Oh. Oh, the, the nasty one is stopping her from coming forward. Again, this is the same thing that happened at the school with the swimming pool. Is the this... nasty one is stopping the girl from coming forward. She runs from him. That's why she runs. She runs from him. Okay, makes sense. So is he the doctor or is he, he the... Is, the... He's, a he's a patient. He's a patient and he is not of sane mind, shall we say. He scares her. Jane, you can come towards us, we'll help you. Neil. Neil, was you the doctor? Or are you a patient? Can you step forwards? Lee. Yeah, it's shouting you. Do you want to speak to Lee? Hello, Lee. Lee. Hello, can you tell me your name? Lee, again. Do you recognise me? Do you know who I am? The little girl said Lee. Who's the little girl? Me. Jane. Jane. Hi, Jane. Hello. Did you hear her? Yeah. Would you like Lee? me to help you? Lee? Oh, 
Oh, the, the, the nasty one is stopping her from coming forward. Again, this is the same thing that happened at the school with the swimming pool. The nasty one is stopping the girl from coming forward. She runs from him. That's why she runs. She runs from him. Okay, it makes sense. So is he the doctor or is he, he the, is, the... He's a patient. He's a patient. He's a patient and he is not of sane mind, shall we say. He scares her. Jane, you can come towards us. We'll help you. We'll get you away from that man. He's gone. Listen. Guys, we have just caught right on the necrophonic. Listen to this. It says, I don't need a doctor. You hear it then? I don't need a doctor. Should we rewind and again? <laughs> it was clear as day on the necrophonic. I don't need a doctor, it said. So, we're going to leave here in a second, but for me, oh, wow, this place has absolutely delivered. I mean, unfortunately for you guys, there wasn't much um, evidence as such. We've had some K2 hits, but the necrophonic has been really good. But for us, this place has been absolutely petrifying. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, we're now going to head off and get a well-earned cup of tea because I'll tell yeah. you what, we need it. My nerves are short. But don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, ring that bell for all future notifications and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Sleep tight.